my name is Olga and uh, I live in Russia. Um, I was born in Ukraine about eight years ago I come here and I'm an English teacher here in a state school. So that's all and so let's start. Today's topic uh, is uh, uh, like this. If you had to move to another country because of your job of your, or your partner's job or another reason because of another reasons so what country would you prefer if you had a choice it's the first question so let's start with nena <laughs> okay um you are the first okay. in my list <laughs> since <laughs> my name <laughs> is first on the list so i'll answer it first um yeah which country would i live in if i think i would choose um australia because um i've been wanting to go to australia and i've checked i've checked the job situation there i think it's going to be um you know um kind of uh, okay for me to work there mm -hmm. so i think i'll choose australia australia if it's not australia perhaps new zealand i think those countries mm -hmm. have a good um income in ha having jobs from the international um people yeah i think mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. And uh, would you miss something in the in this country, in Australia, for example? What would you miss? Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't miss anything, right? <laughs> It, you okay, would feel if, uh, so let me get it clear. Um, if I move to uh, Australia, what would I miss in my country? Is that the question? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Um, what things would you miss? I think I would miss my home and family for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but of course, yeah. if it's part of my job, I think I will have to go there. But perhaps I will have kind of holidays. I'll come back to my own country and have good times here. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so. Alexander, let's start. <laughs> the same question to you. Well, if I could choose a country, mm -hmm. um, that would be the United States of America. Because well, of everything that people say about the country, um, job opportunities, um <laughs> because um because of the thing uh the country in because it's the brick as far as i know it's the richest and mm -hmm. st strongest country in the world because of the movies uh, because of everything <laughs> because of the movies <laughs> the main reason <laughs> okay. is, and is, a another question to you, what the main reason um, in your choice? And the main reason yeah. that it is uh, only the greatest country from the movies, or <laughs> or what? Uh, uh, well, actually, it also because uh, I wanted to to improve definitely uh, my English level, and mm -hmm. I believe that. If I lived in that country, um, I would reach the top of English, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what I think. Yeah, it's good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh, let's one by one, boy and girl. <laughs> you see, your turn, please. Okay, uh, maybe I will choose uh, go to Australia. Um, mm -hmm. you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. According to me, uh, Australia can support my uh, my job. Uh, mm -hmm. I have plan uh, in the future I will be uh, a counting lecturer. Uh, and I hope uh, I can. I'm not. I'm not only uh, study. Eh, I'm not only working in Australia, but. Uh, I hope I can continue study in Australia, like as my mm -hmm. my teacher now. Uh, she 
si Aldo Divinis, uh, her doctor accounting, uh, mm-hmm. and, her, and I hope I can. Yes, I hope in the future. Uh, that is my target. Yes, try for me. Mm-hmm. Yes, I and <laughs> and uh, maybe in the Australia, uh, and the salary uh, will be high. Hashtag that uh, in Indonesia or mm-hmm. other country maybe yes and uh, maybe I will meet Amanda in Australia because <laughs> <laughs> she will go to there. Uh, as I know, Australia is really multicultural uh, country, right? And uh, there are many nations, and uh, they are living get, uh, good in good relationships as as i know as i i know it from some programs of some tv programs i saw many tv programs about australia yeah it must be nice okay thank you maybe you want to add something no uh what's that uh oh yeah um i i think uh in the second second choice, uh, I want to go to Russia. I hope I I have a dream. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, if I I got chance uh, from my my uh, office or university, uh, get scholarship or something like that, I hope I can go to Russia and meet uh, with you and with uh, mm-hmm. friends. Yes, <laughs> it would be really nice. Yeah, you would like yeah. to visit Russia, and we would uh, show you many, many places here. <laughs> so welcome. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Yusti. Thank you very much. So let's start with Paul. Paul, the same question: What uh, country would you like yeah. to move? I was thinking move. about it there, and undecided. And two countries, yeah. Um, I had uh, I did a bit of uh, research recently, and I heard that Egypt is nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to uh, I'd like to explore a bit of Egypt, but um, I, I'd be kind of worried, you know, about the heat. You know, mm-hmm. it's quite it's quite hot in the desert and places. But um, as well, I have cousins in um, Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone's talking about Australia. <laughs> <laughs> but, Everyone um, yeah. wants Australia. <laughs> yeah. But um, what you call it? Um, I've cousins in Queensland, and um, I did a bit of travelling in Sydney before. I, I like and I like Sydney, but I didn't get to explore Bondi Beach or you know all the popular places because the weather was really bad when we got there. Well, I went with my aunt for. Um, but you say it um, now as uh, as tourists, right? But yeah. I ask. Um, I ask you if you had to move to another oh, yeah. country uh, because of your job and live there for some long time. Yeah, I think I'd probably take the easier because the accommodation is cheaper. Um, yeah, sorry, go on what you were saying. Uh, I said, um, would it be still Egypt and uh, Australia or what? If you had uh, to move Yeah, there? I probably would pick Egypt. Um, I probably would pick Egypt because Sydney is very, very expensive. Mm-hmm. The accommodation is very expensive. Um, but Egypt is very hot. Yeah, like. I know, I know. It's very <laughs> hot, but it, it's just somewhere different, and I'd kind of like to see what the culture is like. It's you know. not Ireland either. <laughs> no, no. Or if I didn't pick Egypt there, I might even pick Thailand or somewhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not sure because I like the climate and everything. And, I don't know. I like the food as well. The food is lovely. Mm-hmm. They do nice curries and noodle dishes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and what would you miss most? Uh, um, the- what would I miss most? Family and um, the course that I'm doing at the moment, some of the people in it. And um, I wouldn't miss the weather anyway, because the weather could be crap here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. Um, can't think of anything else. Yeah, I just kind of um, 
you know, I'd miss my area too. I live in a kind of quiet mm-hmm. area, and I kind of like sometimes relaxing at home and doing things. So I'd miss my area a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and now I live in a quiet area too. There are many woods uh, around, so yeah, I can understand you because yeah. noise sometimes is too too annoying. <laughs> yeah, it can be too much noise sometimes, and, and you know, you yeah. I, sometimes I like a bit of peace, you know. And, Say if I had a busy week at my course and, mm-hmm. you know, you kind of want one or two days, like the weekend to relax, you know, and unwind. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any questions from another, from another participant? I think no. Ah, oh, yeah. Alexander, you. <laughs> you have a question. Uh, no, actually, you just, <laughs> forgot, you just forgot asking me a question. What I, what I would miss the most. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what <laughs> would you miss the most? <laughs> well, I, I would miss my friends, my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, the food here in Brazil. <laughs> the weather. And of course, my wife. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. But you could take her with, with you. Ah. <laughs> It's for okay. Sure. <laughs> I would take her with me. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> okay, thank you. So let's start with Melanie. Melanie. So, hey. Would you like to? Move? If I have opportunity to move to another country, I want to move to England. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I get information from my friend in there that. Uh, to get the job in there is so easy. He said that, like, so I want to move in there and get my salary, and also I want to uh, improve my career, and uh, I want to work in there. Yeah, as a business analysis or uh, or even organizer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and what would you miss most? <laughs> Oh, definitely I will miss my family, of course, and my friends, yeah, mm-hmm. and my cats too. <laughs> How many cats do you have? How many one. cats do you have? One? Only one. Only Her one. name is Alicia. <laughs> ah, yeah. okay. It's great, I have a cat too. And uh, another question to you, um, what traditions or religion important for your choice? Your choice what? If you, traditions and religions are important for you for moving to another country. Because you know some traditions and um, are different from your country in England, for example. I think we need to, I need to uh, adaptation in there mm-hmm. uh, because the culture and the, it's di- very different. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So, mm-hmm. Antonio, are you here? Antonio? Yeah, yeah, I was drinking water. No, we don't see you. <laughs> <clears throat> Just a moment. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> um, hello. Yeah, uh, hello so once again. <laughs> there's some oh. question. Sorry, um, I am a bit nervous. Well, don't be nervous. Everything is okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> well, the the country well would be mm-hmm. Canada or England because the culture and 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 the political regime and a William a William Jimmy of the of the of the monarchy monarchism. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so and. and the- and the language too, because I am, I am so much enjoying the French more than the more than English, and 
and I find it will be a great opportunity to improve my French level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's the only reason, only French level. What mm -hmm. another reason? Maybe um, then what about maybe. weather? I know that Canada isn't so warm. Uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. and the oh, how can I say? And the climate too, because I I have a dream to know there's no <laughs> like this to know to live in a snow country or maybe just visit. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, what would you miss most in this country? In my country, the sun, because <laughs> Brazil is so much <laughs> sunny. <laughs> Uh, it, it will be sun. I can, I can promise you that it will be sun. I have sunny days too. You can see, but I live in Siberia and <laughs> I have eight months of winter. Sunny uh, winter, sunny cold winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's uh, about the same <laughs> in Canada, but not in all parts. Well, the history too. And the people, the monuments, um, maybe the food, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's like Brazil. But current. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's mm -hmm. all about this. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. And the bus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the last one, but not the least. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, thank you very much. Ediba. Yeah. We are listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, nervous today. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> you are at home. <laughs> Uh, if like a job, maybe it, uh, I I can choose in another country. But if like a travel, maybe I wanna go like um German and um, German because in there there are so many a uh, good view and I like the people in there. So if mm. like the job, I can I can do it because my mom doesn't allow me to go to another country sometimes. <laughs> Uh, to work in another country because yeah, my mom uh, can far away with me. But it's it's just uh, you know, uh, it's not serious <laughs> question. Just uh, turn on your fantasy and uh, just um, imagine uh, um. that you have a husband and he. <laughs> <laughs> and he will move to another country. So what country it would be? <laughs> oh, yeah. um, German. German. Germany. So only uh, because of people there. Yeah, I like the people in there because uh, they like is so kind. Because I have a friend in there too, and then. Uh, and then in there, uh, the people also like uh, work hard, and yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. They are very, you know, very, um, how it is? <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> um, accurate, they are very mm. accurate Germans. So, I don't know. And what about uh, the weather? It, it is uh, really dif different from your place. Is it okay? Yeah, maybe it is okay because uh, because I want to <laughs> feel like a winter in this <laughs> because in Indonesia oh. there is no winter, like. Okay, <laughs> and what would you miss the most? Um, of course, my family and my mom cooking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Because because German Indonesia has different like has different dish like, so sometimes mm -hmm. yeah. I miss my mom cooking, especially like sambal. Maybe this is like a chili in in our <laughs> dish. 
And um, what traditions and religion important for your choice? What traditions? Traditions. Uh, yeah, traditions uh, are different from your country. You know this, right? So, yeah. is it important reason for you or not? Yeah, um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how to ask it. Yeah, maybe it is. Um, um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer it. Um, yeah, maybe important, maybe. But you could say it in your family, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the reason. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so everybody was here uh, uh, right and so i haven't missed uh, missed any anybody right no <laughs> so okay uh, and as for me uh, i've already done this thing i mean i moved to another country i left everything for one time just like and that's all <laughs> Um, and my reason wasn't so good, but um, now I have a good life, I can't complain. And uh, mm, my uh, my reason was, I don't know, maybe, um, I have uh, relatives here, and um, we have the same language. Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainians and Russians, we have the same um, language, the same religion, the sa everything the same, so it wasn't so hard for me to move here. I just miss uh, my friends, my family, yeah, and some, maybe some food too, <laughs> because some, uh, some kinds of food uh, are different from Russian, uh, for example, bread, I don't like bread here, you know, <laughs> it is not so good <laughs> in my area, in my in my town. They couldn't uh, mm, bake good bread. <laughs> so that's why I mm, don't eat it. So, but in Ukraine, it is really delicious. And, <clears throat> and some other food, maybe some fruits. But we have uh, almost the same here, so it's okay for me. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your participation, and uh, let's uh, let's say some words. <laughs> um, well, um, I would like to ask a question to okay. to Milani, Adiba, Nana, and Yuzi, mm -hmm. and I hope those girls don't get me wrong. Is that true? The dog is a very traditional food in Asia. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> hmm? Dog is a very traditional food in Asia. Dog. 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 Mm -hmm. Not really. Not no? really. Oh, okay, because um, a friend of mine told me that he ate dog in a restaurant when I when he. It, I think it's Korean, not Indonesia. Thailand. Thailand. But yeah. We, we haven't anyone. He heaven. told me <laughs> he <laughs> ate dog and he got very sick because of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's unusual because for him. I think every uh, nation uh, has something uh, unusual in, in food. Yeah. Uh, I ate uh, frogs in France. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I can tell that the most traditional traditional types of foods in Brazil are barbecue, feijoada, buchada também, buchada too. Yeah. 
Yeah, very productive. I love it. <laughs> Akarajé. <laughs> I yes. don't know, any, any good. <laughs> except the barbecue. <laughs> Delicious. We yeah. love barbecue here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. We like barbecue too, here in Russia. <laughs> yeah, it may be different, a little different, but yeah, it's all barbecue. Yeah. I, th I think uh, girls like barbecue too, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. They love, they love. <laughs> And then really? you say, Do you like barbecue? <laughs> yes, I like barbecue. <laughs> yeah. And Paul and uh, Paul likes too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What else? Any questions, Alexander? Is it all? <laughs> No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no more questions <laughs> to ask. I'm very... The only thing I would like to say is, is that uh, it's always a pleasure for me to join you guys here in this meeting because sometimes, um, because of my schedule, of course, I'm always running, uh, desperately chasing time, uh, working insanely. Sometimes I, I have another opportunity to practice in English with people from other countries. And mm -hmm. this is the most interesting thing that I used to do uh, regarding to English. Join you guys over here. I love it all. That's all. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alexander. Uh, <laughs> Nena, what would you like to add? What would you like to say? Mm, say something regarding what? Regarding our uh, ending. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, I think I'll just say um, I appreciate all of you joining us for today's meeting and um, thanks a lot for everyone. I think it's good and you let the meeting well. You um, carry on the conversation really well and I just like it as always. <laughs> thank you Nana thank you you are always helpful in this uh, in organization all of this <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. you very much uh, you see what would you say to us my dear friend <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy because finally I can join again in Google meeting after a long time and I can meet you with uh, Miss Olga, our <laughs> English teacher. Yes, that's so great and mm. so happy because uh, you can be a leader in our our meeting today. And I hope uh, in the next meeting when I be uh, arranging a meeting, uh, mm -hmm. you can be my leader. Yes. <laughs> Yes, um, I, I hope so, but but I will I will go to um, I will go on trip for next week till oh. the second of uh, August. Then I will be here from the second of August till the seventh of August. Then I will go on trip again <laughs> on two trips. So I be, I will be. Uh, at home only in the end of August. Oh yes, okay. Yeah, I will job you a uh, uh, letter, okay? And I hope uh, we can we can meet together. Yes, I'm the yes. identity and you are the leader. Yes. <laughs> no, yes. Again. <laughs> I'm so happy. You know, uh, I'm a bit slow today because I had not so good news from home, so I'm sorry, really, I'm sorry for my condition, today's condition, um, <clears throat> but uh, I, I, I'm really enjoy, enjoy uh, to, to be the leader and to meet you all, really. Um, <laughs> Olga? Happy, yeah. thank you so much. Olga? Uh, uh, wow. You are great. Oh, oh, Miss, Mrs. Olga, 
you are doing great as a leader. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I have tried, but I know I know that I could do this better. But <laughs> seriously, you are doing great as a leader. Great uh, job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you see. Yes, I think. Uh, yes, I'm so happy. I can meet with a friend again. I mean, I can meet with Alexander. I can meet with Lina, Melanie, Paul. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining. And and I hope next next time I can meet with uh, Yulia and you. I yeah, I miss Yulia too because I haven't met with her for too long, you know, for an ages, <laughs> for ages. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think that is for me. Maybe uh, the next. Can I ask a question? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Safe. <laughs> you stay. Good to see you. Uh, uh, can I ask a question? Okay, Paul. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just wondering. I wanted to ask you, uh, what is the uh, situation like in? Is it Russia you're living in? And is is it very dear to, to live there, or, or how much is food or um, accommodation or bills or something? Mm -hmm. Once more, please. What? Else? Once more, please. Repeat. Oh yeah. Um, I, Algar, I wanted to ask you, uh, what is the, um, what is the price of uh, accommodation like living in uh, Russia? And oh, um, it, it's really different. It's uh, it depends on uh, what place do you want to live. If you oh, want, yeah. if you want to live in Moscow or Saint Petersburg, it's really high, high price. Okay. But uh, in my place, not so high for you, I think. Oh, that's, that's good. No, I just was curious because I heard Russia is a poor country and I, I didn't know. <laughs> it, it's then. not poor <laughs> country. <laughs> even in my, small, even in, in my small town, uh, prices are n not, not, um, how it is, it's not cheap. Yeah, no, my sister did, um, work with kids in Belarus um, mm -hmm. a few years ago and I just I heard that was a poor poor um, part of Russia so that's why I kind of was curious you know that's why I'm uh, you know every region is different different yeah. really different in prices and in the way of living and in, um, in everything so it's okay. really different it's like in the, in the USA oh yeah okay really different uh, it's like states you know in the USA they're the same uh, with our regions some regions are really really poor mm. they are and yeah uh, the prices are cheap but okay. not so many people want to live there uh, but my region is really rich because oh, we have cool. gasoline we have many things. <laughs> we have gold also, so yeah, it's really rich. Yes, and so on. Hi. Okay, thanks for telling. And uh, thank you for participating in us. So okay. let's start with Ediba. Ediba, say us something. <laughs> Um, I want to say thank you so much for inviting me. Finally, I can join again in this conference <laughs> because, yeah, after a long time, because I did a fine exam, and after that, Arina <laughs> invited me. It is already happy. <laughs> I can refresh my brain, <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. You are really a uh, so sunny girl. <laughs> <laughs> really smiling and sunny. Thank you very much. And uh, Antonio? Well, I just want to say thank you for inviting me and thank you for for your, your receipt. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and, and thanks for listening and 
and help me to practice my speaking because I have so much difficulty in it because I am quite shy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I hope you, I hope I can join in the next meeting too. And thank you, Olga. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Yosi. Thank you, Adiba. To see you another time and another weekend, it would be really great. But you are trying, and it's good. It's good. It's always good. Just keep trying, at the end. it would be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Let's start with you. <laughs> well, the first I want to thank you to Rina because she is. The first inspired me to in this meeting, and also um, thank you for all that already pleasure me to join this meeting. Thank you so much. I really very excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for participating, for uh, being with us, and uh, I wish you great. <laughs> Something at the bar. Thank you. Let's um, finish with photo. Yeah.